Nick Sartor is a video journalist who is on the ground there in East Palestine, Ohio. He's spoken to business owners and residents of the town. He joins us now. Nick, thank you so much for coming on. Um, makes me feel bad we're not there, but thank we're, we're glad that, that, that you are. What's your assessment of the town right now? So what's going on on the ground is, is a little bit different from what you might see in the media. Uh, the mm -hmm. sentiment from the residents seems to be that they are super annoyed at how the federal government, how the Biden administration in particular, is handling this situation. You have uh, the EPA in particular. They won't talk to any of the residents. You have people that are right up there. I spoke with a, 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 a small business owner that was, uh, their business was right in front of where the explosion was. They can't get anything out of the EPA. The federal government came in for a few days, took over their entire business, would not let them in, okay? but also wouldn't talk to them and wouldn't give them a plan, wouldn't tell them anything. And that's exactly how it's going for everybody that's in this town. So they don't know if they're going to be abandoned by the federal government, and, and, and they don't know if their town's going to be wiped off the map. And, and it's, it's really sad when you're talking to these people because they are terrified that this town that they grew up in, that they've lived in for their entire lives, is, is going to be uh, completely uh, demolished by people having to leave people scared to even come back to the town. Uh, there, there, there's a myriad of people that do not believe the EPA's assessment that the town is okay to go back into. So they just haven't bothered. And, and that is a really scary thing to think that the federal government cannot be trusted enough to be able to tell us whether or not it's safe to go in an area like this. Well, they forced the COVID vaccines on the country, so I, I think they can't be trusted. But I'm just interested as a factual matter I, is the EPA tracking where this cloud of chemicals went? I mean, it, it was a local problem. It became a regional problem. Do we have any information on the effects of, of those clouds of chemicals? Yeah, so, Tucker, the EPA is not releasing a lot of the data that, uh, that they've supposedly been collecting. They were supposed to release data last week uh, on water samples, right? How, how was the water supply... Uh, contaminated? Was groundwater contaminated? They have not done any of that, okay? That's another thing that residents are, are, are complaining about a lot because they don't even know if they can trust their own uh, tap water. They don't want to turn on their taps. A lot of these people do have wells, but they have no clue if their groundwater has been contaminated. It's, it's just so, I mean, it's how do beyond you belief. Like that? This is America. This is a first world country. I mean... Yeah, or, or was. Nick right. Sorcher, I sure appreciate that report from the scene in East Palestine, Ohio. Sorry. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.